Hi, this is question two from the AQA Mechanics 3 June 2011 exam paper. Um, this question here is about dimensions. Um, I'll read through the question with you. The time t for a single vibration of a piece of torch string is believed to depend on the length of the torch string L, the tension in the string F, the mass per unit length of the string Q, and a dimensionless constant k such that t is equal to k times l to the power of alpha times f to the power of beta times q to the power of gamma where alpha beta and gamma are constants by using dimensional analysis we need to find the values of alpha beta and gamma Okay, in order to answer this question, what we're going to do is we're going to break down each of um, our variables here into um, our fundamental dimensions. So everything's going to be of the form um, of either a mass oops, or a um, length or time. Okay, so. Um, Starting with t, well t um, is going to be a function of time and um, k we are told is dimensionless, there's not going to be any dimension in k um, but l is obviously um, going to be the length of the string so that's going to be a length and then we've got f and F is going to be, well, our force would be measured in mass times acceleration. So it's going to have mass times um, and acceleration. Well, acceleration um, is um, usually measured in, in meters per second per second. So meters would be a length. And second per second will be time to the negative two. Okay, and then we've got um, Q, and we're told that um, Q is the mass per unit length of the string. So Q is going to be the mass per unit length. So that's going to be um, L to the negative 1. Okay, so now um, for this question, we want to we want to find the values of alpha, beta, and gamma in in this formula here. So um, I've got my time, which is t, and that's going to be equal to. And um, our k hasn't got a dimension, but we've got our length to the power of alpha. And then we've got our force here to the power of beta. So that's going to be all of this to the power of beta. So the mass to the power of beta, um, length to the power of beta, and time to the power of minus 2 beta. And um, we've also got q to the power of gamma. And q was mass to the power of um, gamma and length to the power of negative gamma. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to simplify um, this so I've got q power t over here and we've got well, um, that's going to be length to the power of, and because I'm, these are all multiplying together, I can add the index numbers together. So it's going to be alpha plus beta take away gamma times mass to the power of, and that's going to be beta plus gamma. And time the power of minus 2 beta. There we go. And over here I'm just going to put a 1 just so we, we remind ourselves that that's going to be 
t to the power of 1. Well, we haven't got any length dimension over here, so my length dimension um, must be um, equal to 0. So that means alpha plus beta take away gamma must be equal to 0. I've also not got any mass dimension over here, so my mass dimension, this bit here, um, must also be equal to 0. So that means beta plus gamma is equal to 0. I've got my um, time here and here, so that means um, 1 must be equal to minus 2 beta, or minus 2 beta is going to be equal to 1. Okay, so using those equations now, um, I can say, well, beta is going to be equal to negative a half. And if beta is equal to a negative a half, that means gamma must be equal to a half. And if gamma is equal to a half and beta is equal to negative a half, that means this here must be 1. So that means, sorry, this here must be negative 1. So that means alpha must be equal to 1. And there you go. So we've now um, used the information that we had and we've managed to work out what alpha, beta and gamma are. Thanks very much for joining me um, and I will see you again soon.